Welcome to Beyond Borders Briefing, where we bring you the latest news and analysis on global issues. Today, we are going to talk about the US and China meeting to thaw out trade tensions. The US and China hope to thaw out ongoing trade tensions during a three-day visit to Beijing by the US Commerce Secretary. One of the biggest issues for the two countries is the trade imbalance which reached a record high of $375 billion in favor of China in 2022. The U.S. has also accused China of unfair trade practices, such as intellectual property theft, forced technology transfer, and market access barriers. China, on the other hand, has criticized the U.S. for imposing tariffs and sanctions on Chinese goods and companies, as well as interfering in its internal affairs on issues such as Taiwan, Hong Kong, and Xinjiang. The visit by Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo is seen as an opportunity to ease some of the tensions and explore areas of cooperation. Raimondo is expected to meet with Chinese President Xi Jinping, as well as senior officials from the Ministry of Commerce and the National Development and Reform Commission. She will also attend a roundtable with representatives from American and Chinese businesses. According to sources familiar with the agenda, Raimondo will raise concerns about China's industrial policies, such as subsidies and state-owned enterprises, that distort global markets and create unfair competition. She will also urge China to implement the commitments it made under the Phase 1 trade deal signed in January 2022, which included increasing purchases of U.S. agricultural products, energy, and manufactured goods. In addition, Raimondo will seek to address the challenges faced by American companies operating in China, such as regulatory uncertainty, data security, and market access restrictions. On the positive side, Raimondo will also explore areas where the US and China can work together, such as climate change, health, and innovation. She will emphasize the importance of maintaining open and constructive dialogue between the two countries, especially on sensitive issues that could escalate into conflict. She will also highlight the benefits of bilateral trade and investment for both economies and peoples. The visit by Raimondo is part of a broader effort by the Biden administration to engage with China on a range of issues, while also competing and confronting where necessary. Earlier this month, Secretary of State Antony Blinken met with Chinese President Xi Jinping in Beijing, where they agreed to keep communication channels open and avoid miscalculation. The two sides also discussed the possibility of holding a virtual summit between Biden and Xi later this year. However, Analysts warn that the prospects for a significant breakthrough or a comprehensive trade deal are slim, given the deep-rooted differences and mistrust between the two countries. They say that the best outcome would be to stabilize the relationship and prevent further deterioration or escalation. They also say that both sides need to manage their expectations and be realistic about what can be achieved. That's all for today's Beyond Borders briefing. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more updates on global issues.